Hello friends, in this video we will try to understand that what are solid principles and why we are using this. So solid principle were introduced by Robert C. Martin. Okay, and what is the solid principle? So solid principles are set of design principle that provides guideline for creating maintainable and scalable software. Okay, so this is the definition of solid principle. That means while designing the software or application or any individual interface, we follow this guideline so that we can easily maintain and scale our code in the future. Okay, now we will understand that what SOLID stands for. S stands for Single Responsibility Principle. O stands for Open Closed Principle. L stands for Liskov Substitution Principle. I stand for interface segregation principle. D stands for dependency inversion principle. Okay, now we will understand what is single responsibility principle. So let's go to the another slide. So single responsibility principle state that a class should have only one responsibility or only one piece of functionality. That means suppose I have created one class here. You can see this is the report class. Inside report, I have created three different methods, generate report, send email, authenticate users. By seeing this class only, you will observe that I have created three different functionality, which is no related to each other. Report is fine. Like, you know, according to the class, generate report is fine. It will do all the activities related to report only, right? But send email, authenticate users are irrelevant. That means it is violating the single responsibility principle. So how to resolve this? What we will do? We'll just we'll keep generate report in the report class. Rest other things like we will just separate in the other classes. Okay. So for send email, we'll create the other class. And for authenticate user, we will create create other class. So let's go to the code and then we will understand. So here you can see that I have created one report class. And this is console application. So in report class, I have created three different methods, right? Generate report, send email and authenticate user. So what we will do, we'll keep this generate report in this uh, report class only and send email and authenticate user. We will just move, move it from here. Okay. So for send email, I have created one send email, uh, send email function class inside that I'll move this send email functionality. Okay. So I will just remove from here. Okay. Similarly, I'll just created like authenticate.cs class and inside that I have created authentic. I've just moved this authenticate user method inside this. Okay. So I'll just remove from here. Okay. And how we are going to call this. So for that, I have created one program.cs class and inside that I have created one main class. Okay. So I have just created one object for report class and inside that I have just calling this method by using this report. Similarly for like, you know, send email functionality also we can do that. So for that, like what we will do, we'll just create one class, send email functional function and equal to new send email function and using send email function will call all the methods. Okay. So you can see here, right? What I'll do that. I'll just write one console here. Okay. Similarly, like how I have, I have write for report. So similarly, I'll just write here. Okay. Okay. Now what I will do, I'll just start this application. Okay. Here I'll just pass one variable just pass abc at the rate of gmail.com okay and what we will do we'll just print this method so what i'll do that so now i'll start this application we'll see I'll click on continue. See the output, right? Logic to generate the report and log logic to send the report via email, whatever like we have passed here. From this, like we are printing the value. abc at the rate of gmail.com. I hope you have understand what is single responsibility principle.